Okay, thank you, Chairman. Good morning. My name is Ejimita, uh, that this one. And uh, today I'd like to talk about the on-road vehicle tracking using uh, the homeable object model and the uh, particle filter with integrated likelihoods. Uh, these are my contents. The first I'd like to introduce goal of research. And the second, I'll explain the proposed car detection method uh, that is vehicle detec uh, detection by the home model and uh, vehicle tracking using particle filter. And later, I will show the experimental result, including a little bit uh, longer movies. And finally, I will conclude my talks and uh, I address the future tasks. Uh, Robust on-road vehicle detection and the tracking is very uh, really key issue for driving assistance and autonomous systems. And uh, many detection and tracking systems using uh, monocular cameras, stereo cameras, LiDAR laser, and its uh, fusion has been so far uh, the proposed. And as a detection method, uh, the, there are many proposals and among them, uh, a combination of hard transformation based features and uh, other boosting is very popular. However, uh, the, the performance seems to be uh, the insufficient because of the uh, many uh, the false positive and false negative uh, errors. Uh, therefore, uh, the, uh, our goal of research is to implement a new car detection method using one monocular camera uh, based on the, the home of object model and the particle filter. Uh, I'll explain the very dark flow of proposed detection and the tracking method. Uh, the first, the vehicle are detected by the home of object model and later time sequence identification vehicles uh, between the current and the previous uh, the, uh, the frames. Uh, has uh, the, uh, the words and uh, sorry uh, the, uh, performed, and when the, uh, the, they are identified, we determine the, these vehicles are already detected vehicle and the particles are the updating, and the car detected for the first time. Of course, so the uh, tracking information of the particles are uh, the initialized according to the. The some uh, the Gaussian uh, the distributions, and later uh, these uh, the results are confirmed by lidar distance information. And uh, uh, as you know, so uh, I briefly uh, and introduced the hog features and uh, input images divided by many blocks, including uh, our case eight by eight pixels, and later the edge detection. Uh, it's uh, performed uh, for uh, horizontal and uh, vertical directions. And uh, using these pictures, uh, the gradient intensity mm -hmm. and uh, the orientation are calculated by this single, uh, very simple the equations. And uh, the orientation theta are voted at for the orientation theta uh, to each pixel. And uh, consequently, we have uh, this kind of the whole of their features. And uh, all the features has the very robustness of uh, illumination noise and local variations. And uh, I will define the, the home of object mo model by using the learning image. This is not a car, but a person. And uh, uh, the, uh, after that, the root filter and the part filters are constructed. The root filter that correspond to the whole body and the part filter part filters uh, correspond to the characteristic parts, uh, such as the head or the arms or the uh, legs. And the features for the part filters are computed uh, twice the resolution of the root filter. And these the, and the part filters are connected to the, uh, the, uh, the root filter uh, by spring. Uh, this spring uh, represents a quadratic, quadratic cost of function for deformi deformation. And so the fog features and the deformation cost functions can be learned by using latent support vector machines. 
And uh, right now, sub support vector machine is the modification of classic support vector machines. And here, the X is the data training data set, and W is the root and the part filter values, and Z is the latent values. Uh, in this case, uh, the part filter positions. And the phi is the whole function of the input images. And the uh, score formula for obtaining the, the optimal uh, the W and Z uh, is defined by maximum value of inner product W and phi over Z given uh, X and W. And uh, optimal W is that uh, they uh, minimize the support vector machine object function. Uh, it's given like this when that is fixed. And uh, I, I will uh, briefly uh, explain the learning algorithm. Uh, learning of root filter is used for, uh, is done for using the normal support vector machines. And the initialization of a part filter is done by assigning the high square root region in the first and optimized. Optimization of the part filter is done through uh, many iterations like peak best Z and W fix, the optimized W and Z fix and recursively. And this uh, slide uh, the shows the vehicle detection process. And, uh, this is the detector squares. It's defined as hog matching cost and deformation cost. The, this F uh, the just uh, the provides the filter, uh, the filter values, and uh, he is the uh, uh, hog uh, the features of uh, the testing images, and of course uh, this has uh, the quadratic functions. So this uh, the, uh, gives the displacement. <laughs> and uh, in order to detect the, the various size of the vehicles, we use the, uh, the hog pyramid. Uh, that is the uh, higher color structure of resizing images like this. And the lower part is one example of the detection result. So uh, this is a root position. A little bit the binding, binding box is the shifted. And the part positions like this. And finally, we have the, this bounding box of cars. And I have to uh, the note this, that uh, the, these uh, the part filters are not assigned by manually, like wheel or uh, it's uh, automatically uh, selected by the energy functions. Uh, this slide shows the, some examples of vehicle detection and the squares. The aqua rectangles, uh, the side views, and some case of the rear views, and the blue rectangles, the front uh, side views, sorry, and the blue rectangles, the front or rear views. And the white distributions uh, that correspond to the high square regions, uh, namely the, the existing the, uh, the high and the possibility of existing cars. And I will explain the velocity vector estimation using the particle return. Uh, the problem of velocity vector estimation is the two. Uh, it had two observation noise, such as vibration, illumination, change, and the geometrical change, size and pose, and change, pose change of the vehicle. And uh, as you know, the particle, particle filter is the robust and versatile time series tracking filter. And the important parameters, uh, as you know, the movement model for prediction and the likelihood calculation method. And as a movement method, we have used a very simple the uniform linear motion because the, that the picture frame is uh, sufficiently short. And uh, this is the x, dy is the position, and the ut, vt is the velocity, horizontal particle, and uh, time t and the t plus one is uh, and, uh, yeah, given by these very simple equations. And the next, uh, I will explain the, uh, the procedure of likelihood calculation. Uh, this shows the detection result at time t, and uh, 
these rectal angles uh, that represent the uh, particles, and uh, this delta is one of the, this delta d indicates the one particle of them, and uh, the big, bigger image is cut around the, this delta, and also the, uh, the, uh, this uh, the shows the detection result at time t, t minus one, and the previous frame big image uh, is cut and resized, and the intensity correlation of both pictures are calculated. And also, we have a vehicle detector score at time t, so finally integrate vehicle detector score and the intensity correlation. And so the likelihood is given by these equations. And the k is the convergence factor, lambda 1, lambda 2 is the sum of the retuning parameters. And of course, this is only one of the particles, so we weighted the, the four particles, and finally we have a, a final likelihood. This gives the prediction of a velocity vector. And <coughs> this is the, uh, this right shows the, some experimental conditions. Uh, we use the Pascal challenge uh, car, the data set uh, that includes the about 1,000 images. However, it doesn't include the track and the bus. And uh, we, uh, the, for learning data, we only use the front, rear, and the side views. And this is the calculation spec of computer. And uh, now the uh, process time is the 0 0.5 second per frame. And the dominant calculation cost is the very simple convolution operation between image and the detectors. So of course this will be, this uh, the calculation time will be reduced. And this is the uh, experimental result for various situations, as you can see. And uh, lower part is a little bit of the, uh, the uh, complicated situations, precision car, and uh, this is the cross tracking. Uh, and uh, uh, sorry, as uh, you can see, the uh, the velocity estimation and the car detection uh, the, uh, works quite well. And uh, this is another example. And uh, this green uh, round vector angle means the, uh, that uh, the improvement of the false negatives. Uh, if we uh, the use the tracking the, of the particle filters, uh, that this can be detected like this. And, uh, and uh, this part, uh, of course, the car is uh, Detected, but the estimation of the velocity is uh, uh, wrong. So, however, if we use the, the particle filters, it can be detected correctly like this. And this is the failed result. A very small black car and a shaded black car. Uh, and uh, this is the, the false negatives examples. And in this case, the several car is detected as the one big. And the, uh, this is the, the uh, summarized result, but I'll explain very briefly. So as you can see, the, this detection method uh, has the few false positives like this. And this is the, the false negatives improvement. If we use the tracking filters, the false negative uh, range uh, reduced by about half. And uh, this is the confirmation of the, uh, the, our detector by using the laser scanner. And uh, as you can see, the, uh, the uh, velocity estimation can be uh, the, uh, works very well uh, because the laser data and the image data are correct, uh, the coincide very well. And uh, I'll show you the uh, some of the movies. Uh, very sorry. The, this uh, means the very simple uh, the, the cross section.
of course, the, the, detect,、uh, the size of the、uh, car detection are limited for the,、uh, the uh, time saving. And this is a, a little bit of the,、uh, complicated uh, the, uh, the cross sections, intersection. Only the、uh, car is detected, so、uh, bike and human p e d e s t r i a n are not detected. And this is a little bit of big size, so not detected. So, they、uh, come to the conclusions. And,、uh, vehicle detection using the home of model and tracking and prediction using particle routers. And、uh, it brought robust and versatile vehicle tracking for urban a r e a And the future tasks is、uh, laser image fusion. And、uh, maybe the,、uh, the uh, calculation, calculation time should be、uh, the reduced to by one tenth by. Software the effort. And of course, if we use the hardware, the previous the talk,、uh, maybe、uh, the calculus time drastically reduced. So, 